So when your nephew's speaking in tongue, what is he doing? Get that in. He's lying. Oh. Yeah, He's putting on a show. Right. Yes, yes, right. Right. Next time your nephew start doing that, say, boy, stop it. You're not Bring saying nothing. of the Lord, okay. which he had spoke unto him. So if God is speaking to Jeremiah and Baruch is writing it down, it, it can't be a language that nobody knows, right? right? It's got to be a language they all understand. Now, verse 16. Verse 16. Now, it came to pass. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Now, it came to pass when they had heard all the words, they were afraid. So now... Baruch, um, God was speaking to Jeremiah. Jeremiah was telling Baruch what to write. So the people heard that. They didn't hear something they didn't understand. They didn't hear the babbling that they do in the church. Go ahead. Both one and another and said unto Baruch, we will surely tell the king of all these words. Now, now they're going to speak the words to somebody else. Right. So it's not... I don't know what you just said, but I'm going to go tell them. They, they understand, and they were afraid. They say, we got to go tell the king now. Go ahead. And they asked Baruch, saying, tell us now, how didst thou write all these words at his mouth? So now they're asking Baruch, Where, where'd you get all this from? Go ahead. Then Baruch answered them. He pronounced all these words unto me uh -huh. with his mouth. And then what? And I wrote them with ink in the book. See that? So he's writing this language. So it's a, a known language. There's nowhere in the Bible. What you're referring to is called glossolalia, where people seem to be in a religious uh, uh, worshiping of God. But it's all a lie. It's all a lie. What? I ain't never heard that before. You ain't never heard that before? No. That, look, look, this is one of the biggest lies. That's right. And you think they're not going to lie about talking to God? Bring if they up. say, this is God in Christ, this whole thing is a lie. Look at it, look, look. If there's some kind of truth right there, why are his people yes, hanging all out? Both of them are one of them. Doing drugs. Bad. One of one of them. Uh, because they have no respect for that. Right. There's, there's, no, there's no authority in that. They don't uphold God's laws. That's why they're comfortable over this. All right? So you got to understand it, right? So when your nephew's speaking in tongue, what is he doing? Get that in first uh, He's lying. Oh, yeah, it He's is. putting on a show. Right. Yes, yes, right. right. Next time your nephew start doing that, say, boy, stop it. You're not Bring saying nothing. Go ahead. First John, chapter two, verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him. Uh -huh. If we keep his commandments. Go ahead. He that say it, I know him. So your nephew say he know him so much, they got their own language. They got they speaking pig Latin to each other. Right? Go ahead. He that say it, I know him. So and, go ahead. And, and keepeth not his commandments. Do your nephew keep the Sabbath day? Your nephew, you keep the Sabbath day? You see? And you say you go to church. You you know the Ten Commandments? 
thou shalt not kill, steal, and murder. That's the, okay, that's the same. You, you, you just named two out of ten. Okay. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. No false witness. Okay. Um. Thou shalt not covet. Hmm? You should, I'm, I'm, I'm helping you. Oh. Because you look like you're trying to remember. What about the fourth one? What does that say? That's a commandment. Okay. One of the Ten Commandments. It says to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. That's right. But these are these are things in the church they're not teaching us. So how can your nephew, if, if your nephew's speaking to God, God's got to be telling him, hey, keep the Sabbath day. Right. And tell your auntie to keep the Sabbath day too. Right. Teach her how to keep the Sabbath day. Bring That's it right. out. So what these, Saturday is Saturday? That's correct. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the Sabbath day. You see how you're unclear about, you shouldn't have no doubt when the Sabbath day is, what you should be doing. You shouldn't have no doubt about that. If, if and your nephew speaking to Christ, uh, God, you should know everything about the Sabbath day. Right. You should know this Bible front and back. Right. Well, your nephew speak to God. You, you shouldn't even need to read it. Your nephew speak to God. Right. You see that? Your nephew has been what? Lying. That's right. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. So if you're not keeping God's commandments, you don't have no relationship, you don't have your own language with God. Go ahead. Is a liar. You're just a liar. That, that's how plain this Bible is. If you're doing the commandments, you're good. If you're not doing the commandments, you're a liar. We can't believe anything you say. We can't believe this. We can't believe the glossolalia, speaking in tongues, none of that. All right. Now I'm gonna show you where they get that confused. Go to Acts two. I'm gonna show you where the where they use that tongue speaking in tongues example. Acts chapter two verse eight. Straight up. Go to uh, start at five. Start at five. Verse five. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. So, so there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, right? That'll be the first three tribes, right? Go ahead. Devout men out of every nation under so, heaven. So now these men were from every nation, right? What what happens when you come from a different nation? Do you speak the same language? No. Let's just say, you know, there's different nations have different languages, right? Okay. So these Jews were in different nations, okay? Now, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded mm -hmm. because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So now, these men that are gathered together, they're hearing each other speak. They're from different nations, remember that. But they're hearing each other speak in whatever language they speak. So me and you speak English, we would hear somebody that speaks in Spanish speak in English. You understand? All right. And they were all amazed and marveled, mm -hmm. saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? So there was some from Galilee. Go ahead. And how hear we every man in our own tongue, uh -huh. wherein we were born? Parthians and Medes. So Parthians, Medes, go ahead. And Elamites. Elamites. And the dweller in Mesopotamia. So these are even Jews that came from Mesopotamia. So these are different languages, but they're all hearing them in their, the tongue that they were born. So that's where the church, use the scripture, take it out of context and say we're speaking tongue. But these people say they they understand what everyone was saying, like it was their native tongue. Is that it? Okay. And in Judea, and in Cappadocia, mm -hmm. and in Pontus, uh -huh. and in Asia, Phrygia, uh -huh. and Pamphylia, and Egypt, and Egypt, and in the parts of Libya. So all these people, all these different languages, these are languages. They are Pentecost, all the one on the coin speaking language. Huh? Uh, the day of Pentecost, all of them were on the court, and they uh -huh. started speaking tongues. We just went over it. What, 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 what was the tongue they were speaking in? Um, my, my something. No, no. Their own language. Their own language, but they were from different nations. It was different nations. It was Jews from different nations speaking multiple languages. But guess what? That person heard it in their own in their own native tongue. Go ahead. In Prigia, and Pamphylia, mm -hmm. in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, about Cyrene, uh -huh. and strangers of Rome, 
Jews and proselytes, uh -huh. Cretes and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues. You hear that? They heard them speak in their own tongue. Right. Even though they were speaking another language, the, the spirit was on them to understand. They had, they was, they were being edified. Remember what we went over earlier? If, you, if somebody's speaking in an unknown tongue, it's got to be edified. Somebody's got to be breaking it down like, hey, he's saying this and this and this, according to the language. So that person has to understand that language. So your nephew, he's got to understand the language. He's got to say, hey, when I say, see my tie, tie my tie, I told God this. But that don't happen. Everybody's confused. Of, oh, I think he's talking to God. No, they, they're in a trance. Out. All right. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Somebody say, I speak in tongues, say, what language is that? Because you're not talking to, you're not talking to God. Bring it out. Right. No. Oh, All right? So you understand? All right. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? We went over this earlier with you. Israelite. Oh, oh. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where we at we're in captivity in this land Go ahead. where thou has scattered us for a reproach and a curse we've been scattered throughout the world for reproach to get ourselves right not for us to, to sit and, and stay in the lowest state that we're in right now is the time to wake up get up out the dust wake up and remember who we are we are right. royalty on this earth that's right but that don't come by us just saying it we have to apply the things that's written in the bible for right. us to get back that status right okay? and to be subject to payments now we're we're slaves and we're subject to payments that's why we're at the bottom we, we work we get the lowest paying jobs if we have a job and we still required to pay bills right. water bill light bill cell phone bill apartments go ahead according to all the iniquities of our fathers but guess what though all these things are on us that's what we've been trying to explain to you all these things are on us because we sin and we remain in sin and right. there's nobody outside of the israelites teaching us how to get out of sin right. how to repent get ourselves right get our household right or have orderly marriages no boyfriend right. girlfriends bring it up dress according to what the scriptures say for a woman and a man how to deal with one another as neighbors. Nobody's teaching that outside of it. You're not going to get that at the church. Go ahead. Which departed from the Lord our God. Uh-huh. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Go, go to four. Start around five, I think. Go ahead. This Baruch chapter five, four and verse five. Uh-huh. Be of good cheer. Go ahead. My people, the memorial of Israel. So when you hear the scripture, you're supposed to be a good cheer. I'm an Israelite. Christ died for me, for me to repent and have a second chance at the kingdom of heaven. You're supposed to rejoice when you hear that. Okay? Hey. Ye were sold to the nations. But guess what? We were sold to the nations, the white man, the Arabs, the so-called Africans. We were sold to them, why? Not for your destruction. Not to destroy us. So guess what? It's going to be a time where we come out of the state that we're in in America. That's right. Go ahead. But because you move God to wrath. You see that? We move God to wrath. That's why we're in this condition. Go ahead. Ye were delivered unto the enemy. Says, don't pay him no attention. Go ahead. 
For ye provoked him that made you uh -huh. by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. Guess what now? We, we sacrifice it to this devil now. We sacrifice to him. We think that's Christ. Or we make our own righteousness. Oh, all I got to do is be good. We fall into all kind of crazy religions. Go ahead. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God. We have what? Ye have forgotten the everlasting God. We've forgotten our God. We've forgotten and, and, our nationality. And you all, you, you all are trying to, trying to show us the right way? Truth, yes, the correct. The truth in the right way. The truth in the right way. Where is righteous, your church? righteous way. Uh, the, the back of the flyer is addressed it. Okay, come. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get there. Ah, no, don't try. No, I'm gonna try. I, I got, hey, then we read that in Proverbs. We read that in Proverbs. If you think, if if you're saying that to yourself right now, I'm gonna try to come. Guess what you're gonna be doing two years from now? You're gonna be trying to come. Right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make a make that decision in your mind. All right. I'm, These brothers are search, teaching the right way. I need is, change. Is personal. My search is personal for, for truth. It's and not knowledge. personal to me. It's I'm, a, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, you were sold. You were sold. You were sold to okay. the nations. Were you the only one sold? No. Bring it up. We were sold as a nation, so it's not personal. Right. You have of to course start you're gonna have you're gonna have in the mirror. You're gonna have personal trials. You gotta start. But with guess the man what? In the mirror, and guess I'm, what? I'm it's not just you. you. This is for all of us. If you remain in sin, guess what happened? We remain in America. You remain in the condition that you're in. We remain in America. I got to go. You understand that, Can you, sir? You understand that? Yes, I understand. So we all have to change. We all have. You got to change. The system behind you got to change. Uh, all of us are dying daily. We change ourselves daily. Right. Why? Because we're not selfish. We know if we remain in sin, guess what? Our nation remain in this condition. Yes. Beautified. That's why we all are, are changing go. daily. We're dying Peace, daily. I gotta go. And we're, we're, we're sending that message to you to get yourself right. You read that. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the book of Judith. Listen to this. Right Chapter quick, 5 this. and verse 17. Uh -huh. And whilst they sin not. You, you familiar with this? You heard this before? Did you know you're Israelite? Somewhat? Listen to this. Go ahead. And whilst they sin not before their God, they prosper. Because the God that, that that's what he wanna get to, right? We wanna we all wanna get to the point where we're prosperous. But for us to do that, we can't sin against our God. Right. Yeah, sure. Okay. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. Uh-huh. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. You see, you hear that sis? When we sin, we get destroyed by God. Go ahead. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground. Go ahead. And their cities were taken by the enemies. 19, go ahead. But now are they returned to their God. Now, if we return to our God, go ahead. And are come up from the places where they were scattered. Uh -huh. And have possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is, and are seated. Jump down to 21. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. Now, this is what I was trying to explain to him, right? If we all are changing, we change as a nation. That means there's no sin in us. We're keeping God's commandment. If we all do that as a nation, go ahead. Let my Lord now pass by. Go ahead. Let their Lord defend them. But we got to unify under God's commandment. Right. Let's read it again. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by, okay. lest their Lord defend them. You see that? Once we have no iniquity within the nation, God is going to defend us. Okay. And their God be for them, uh -huh. and we become a reproach before all the world. That's when things start changing. Right now the world is upside down. The people that's supposed to be in servitude, they're not. The people that's supposed to be ruling the world in righteousness, they're not. They're in sin. All right, so sis, you understand what you have to do, right? You gotta make that change as well yourself. You gotta find out what, as a woman, as an Israelite woman, what do I need to be applying to my life to get to that point where I don't have iniquity within me, all right? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 32 and verse five. So Trent, you said uh, iniquity, okay. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. Go ahead. And mine iniquity have I not hid? So what is iniquity? Sin. What is sin? What is sin? You want things that are against yourself, against your truth. Yeah. 
against what the is, truth. What does that mean? Um, doing things that don't feel good to yourself. With, I, if, like stubbing my toe against something. That don't feel good to me. Is that sin? No. no. Um, what I'm saying is going against yourself, like eating the wrong foods or not listening to your conscience, not listening to your in the, intuition okay. with God within you, right? Okay, I think you have an idea. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Here we go. Whosoever committed sin. So whoever commits sin. Transgresseth also the law. Transgress means go against. So if you commit sin, you're going against God's laws. Okay. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is going against God's laws. So you mentioned a few things, dietary law, you know, what you're not supposed to eat and what you're, you're supposed to eat, correct? Having a good conscience, listening to your conscience, doing the right thing. I would say, just go with what's written here, right? Sin is the transgression of God's law. What if I right? didn't know how to read? What yeah. if I didn't know how to read? What if I couldn't hear? That's what we're here you for. Have to, you have to follow. Sis, we have all that covered. We have okay. people that, six that, that, that know how to do sign language. And if you can't that's... read, and we have brothers in our congregations that can't read, we sit down with them one-on-one. -on -one. So, and the end, this is the last day. There's no, there's yeah. no so yeah, You're not getting are. around, there's no excuse. Yeah. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.